cry out. They scream in peace, but there ain't no peace. Israel prophesying in the streets. Look at me, the center of attention. Black Messiah coming with a vengeance. According to the Bible, you're from the tribe of Benjamin. Right. What are we teaching? Like, the way you say it, I'm Jamaican, right? What we're teaching is, the word Jamaican came from our oppressors, right? The white people conquered Jamaica as an island, right? And they named it Jamaica. And all of those people that are born from that island are considered Jamaican, right? Well, in the Bible, it wasn't called Jamaica, or we wasn't considered Jamaican. We had an actual heritage and a lineage. And what we're teaching people is who we are according to God which is much more important than who we are according to the Bible. I mean, than, than who we are according to the white man. Because at the end of the day, do you believe in God? You believe that there is a God? You believe there is a God? Let me ask you something. What does God look like? How old are you? You're 17, okay. Do you know what God looks like? You ever heard of Jesus? What does Jesus look like? Right. What did you learn that from? Going to church, you learned that Jesus was white, right? Did they ever show you that in the Bible? You know why? Because Jesus was not actually white. He was black. He was actually a lot darker than me and this brother is right now when you read the Bible. Why are we bringing this up? Because there is a serious disconnect between the, our heritage and the Bible and what we should know and what we actually know as we walk this earth right now, right? You, do you know anything about a heritage? What is a heritage? Do you know what a culture is? You 17, you should know what a culture is, right? What makes up a people's culture? I'm sorry, the bees is out like crazy. I ain't gonna keep you too long. What makes up somebody's culture? Say it again. Their tradition, right? And inside that tradition is their religious beliefs, right or wrong? What they do and don't wear, right? You ever see the East Indian? They got the little red dot right here. They wear the um, long dresses, you know, with the little sash that goes across, right? You see Muslim, they dress a certain way. Sisters are covered a certain way. That's their heritage. What's the Jamaican heritage? Well, for my holidays, we wear these skirts and tops that look like coconuts. Okay. Yeah, have our hair out and naturally out. Okay. So, what you're talking about is the festivals that happen, right? Now, those festivals that happen, what do they call them? Bacchus? Yeah. Watch this. Find me Bacchus in the Bible. I'm going to show you something. It's in the Maccabees. Somebody help them. Somebody pull out their app. It ain't going to be easy to find. When, when you look at what we do today as our heritage, we learn it all from the people that's oppressing us. There is not a single strain of what we do according to God when we were living as the Israelites that we do today. Everything that we do, including Bacchus, Christmas, Easter, the whole nine yards would talk to us by our oppressors. What we're trying to do is show people who we really were, the royalty that we really come from, and compel the people to come back to their heritage and to come out of the heritage that's been taught to us by us, by our oppressors. Why? Because this place won't be here forever. According to the Bible, this place is prophesied to be destroyed. And we don't want to see sisters like yourself, like these brothers, even like us, destroyed when this place gets destroyed. Because we have a higher calling and a bigger purpose. Watch this. The book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 6 and verse 6. Uh-huh. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days. So this is when the Greeks invaded the Israelites. They made it so that we could not keep the Sabbath days. Go ahead. Or ancient feasts. Or ancient feasts. Read. Or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. And we were not allowed to call ourselves by actual nationality. Now this happened in history. I'm going to show you something. Read. And in the seventh day of the king's birth. Uh, in the seventh day of the king's birth. Read. Every month. They were brought by bitter constraint uh -huh. to eat the sacrifices when the Feast of Bacchus was kept. When the Feast of what? The Feast of Bacchus was kept. That's the same thing that so-called Jamaicans keep today. 
It's in the Bible that we were forced to keep it, and now today you calling it your normal culture and religion. What am I showing? That's how far away from our nationality, our real culture that we are. Now they have completely destroyed us and convinced us that their culture is our culture. Because we'll put a little spin on it. We'll have a certain dress or we'll have a certain way we celebrate it. We think it's now ours. But read the Bible again. And in the day of the king's birth. Uh-huh. Every month. Every they were, month they were what? Brought by bitter constraint. What does it mean to be brought by bitter constraint? Do you know what that means? That means chained up and dragged. That means you was brought with somebody having a knife in your back. That's bitter constraints, meaning you ain't want to go there yourself. They were forcefully dragged to do what? To eat of the sacrifices. Uh-huh. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept. And when Bacchus was kept, what did they have to do? The Jews were compelled to go in procession to Bacchus. You see what we had to do? We had to go to Bacchus to sacrifice to their gods. Why is this important? Because it shows us that the heritage that we have today does not come from us. You come from a much, much greater heritage, sister. You got to seek it out. Did y'all get a sister a flyer? Yeah. Good, good. Hey, watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5, and then I'm going to let you go. One scripture. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Here's our culture, right? The Bible says a woman cannot wear what pertains to a man. Right? Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What is a woman's garment? A dress, right? Watch this. So what's the first part mean? Not wearing suits. What kind? Pants. That's what it's talking about. But see, here's what happens. No Christian church is teaching this. Nobody is trying to bring the so-called blacks and Hispanics back to their nationality, their true nationality. So what happens is it is a common thing to see women wearing pants when that's not our culture. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.